In previous episodes, we've discussed VST as a way how to extend your application with various effects or synthesis. You can access VST plugins via FX button on every track. You can see that this track has some equalizer and compressor on it. And you can add, for example, some uh, guitar effect. I use only free plugins, but you can also buy some you know, commercial ones and add them. They probably will have better quality. It's all up to you. VST is still industrial standard and there is no problem to use any VST in Reaper. There are many applications of VST. Some of them just changes the sound of an existing audio track. But in case of MIDI, you need so-called VST instrument to produce a sound. For example here I have a bass module. There are equalizer and compressor applied after this in the chain. And now when I arm this track for recording, I can play the bass. You can see there's there is some sound. If I bypass these effects, there is no sound. Only the MIDI event. You can see the red square here again. So in case of MIDI tracks, VST instrument is really crucial. Let's quickly cover the rest of the buttons here. This is a solo or mute button. You can use them for a number of tracks. When all of them are turned off, all tracks are played. This one inverts the face of the track. And this one manages the inputs and outputs of the track. Um, Reaper is very strong in terms of routing inputs and outputs, but I will not cover that. And finally, here is a button that allows you to uh, display various envelope, envelopes for the track. These are basic envelopes for the track and now you can see many other envelopes for various effects that are applied for a track. So you can always affect any parameter or variable of any effect that is applied to the track. To demonstrate the usefulness of the envelopes, I want to show you how to create fade in and fade out on master track. You have to display master track with a contextual menu here. And uh, master track has its envelopes as well. Now we're interested in volume envelope. Volume envelope is displayed and uh, anytime you click on it, you'll create new point and then you can edit the volume. You can easily remove all envelope points in a particular time selection. Here as you can see my track starts in a full volume and ends with a fade out. There are many other applications of envelopes, I will just name one more. And it's a changing of tempo of a track. Let's say you have a slow dance track with some faster acoustic guitar intro, whatever. Uh, you want your intro to be, for example, 160 tempo, and then the rest of the track. We need to add an, another envelope point here. And the rest of the track should be 120. But of course, you don't want the tempo to change so rapidly and instantly. See so what? So we add one more tempo marker and you will add this and when you check this box it will cause that the transition will be gradual. It's much, much more natural. When you plan to record a song with the different tempos always plan your changes of tempo before because the other tracks don't change the speed just because you change the tempo here. MIDI tracks is a different, uh, different story. They change the uh, no, speed, 
but uh, when he makes audio with maybe you know this is no no for you first change the tempo then record all the stuff we went only through some basic features of Reaper that might be very useful for you when you start go to the page download the Reaper user guide and uh, check the forum there are many helpful people here there are also some newbie newbie threads so it's no problem to find useful information about Reaper finally I want to recommend video Reaper tutorials by Pipeline Audio you can find it on YouTube and he goes through simple steps to some more sophisticated topics like uh, compressors and uh, he discusses uh, for example FX chain in a much more detail than I did just now so definitely go and check it out and uh, that's it about Reaper for now next time we'll leave the software for a while and I will show you my modest home recording studio how my hardware is set up and connected and we will also talk about other options how to connect your microphones and instruments to your computer so see you soon